If you're looking for a way to do massive Windows 7 migration, Microsoft has updated its own tool sets for this purpose called the Windows Automated Installation Kit, or WAIK. Hello and welcome to another screencast review on ITExpertVoice.com. I'm David Strom. There are lots of new features, as you can see here from the help file. We first need to download the software, create a bootable DVD from the ISO file. You'll see that it has several different components, including updates to .NET Framework and MSXML packages, should you be using older versions. There are also toolkits for managing applications deployment, called ACT, and migration planning tools called MAP. There's a step-by-step -step guide included that will walk you through the process, as you can see here. The first thing you want to do is import the base Windows image file from your Windows 7 DVD using the System Image Manager tool here. As you can see, there are lots of different customizable options for various Windows components. Part of your challenge here is understanding how much you want to automate in the installation process, such as choosing particular apps or drivers to include in the image, and whether you want to use Windows Volume License Keys rather than entering individual keys manually. To do this, you'll want to use the Volume Activation Management tool, as you see here. You then need to create a golden or starter master Windows 7 manually on a typical PC and also install a base collection of applications. Next, you use SysPrep to create the image and save it to your deployment server. If you've used this tool in the past, you'll want to check the help files and see what's changed with the new Windows Server 2008 R2. We've just hit the highlights, but as you can see, this is worth a closer look for automated Windows deployments. I recommend WAIK if you've already tried out earlier versions and know your way around SysPrep and Windows Volume licenses. Thanks for watching our screencast. See others at itexpertvoice.com.